Final Fantasy Adventure. So FF8 good. has some pretty good music, yeah. We go one more time. Okay, Rain is currently going live. Thank you, Rain. Uh, and I'm just waiting for Essentia. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, lo I love that, like, my sister got involved with these, and uh, even if she doesn't particularly love the games that she gets at all. Who does? <laughs> I know, right? They're all pretty much trash. Well, that's the point of the tournament. They're all trash. All the games you get, just going to be a big pile of trash. It's it's lovable trash, lovable. though. In in most cases, okay? And except for... Oh, what is it? Uh, I think it was... Robocop 3 for the Super Nintendo. That is not lovable in any way, okay? So, so work with me on this. Just... Imagine yourself as like Oscar the Grouch poking up out of a trash can handing out bad games. I think you could do this at like a GDQ or something. <laughs> I could get in a trash can and give bad games to people. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they'd allow yeah, that. Mike. We... Mike, if you're if you're in chat listening, will you allow me to hide in trash cans and give people bad games? Yeah, this... You just suddenly pop out of a trash can with like a copy of Athena or something and just hand it to somebody as they walk by. Yeah, I'm sure that'll go over well. You know what? I mean, how many copies of Troll 2 do you have? You can handle, like, all of those out of GDQ. <laughs> oh, yeah, Troll 2 here, Troll 2 there. It's a good movie, okay? Everybody watch Troll 2. Highly recommended. Uh, yeah, I, I, I just see, uh, like, people, you know, going and going to GDQ and they're like, oh no, Brosencho's hiding in the trash can again. <laughs> <laughs> I think the person to ask about this may be Clage, actually. Oh yeah. Comedy or rules? Is it in the rules? Like, I'm, I want a printed list of rules that say Brosencho cannot hide in the trash can, okay? Because, <laughs> you know, otherwise, I'm doing it. I, I recommend bringing your own trash can, not just hiding in one of the cans they have hanging around the Oh, hotel. actually, that's a good point. What if I bring my own trash can? Or, hmm, I could go buy a trash can and bring it. <laughs> Justin is a little bit concerned. <laughs> good! <laughs> he just stuck his head in and was like, what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I think Essentia is going to start streaming in just a little bit. I don't know, I think it would be an amazing gimmick for, like, Cuso Grande to just get a trash can with Cuso Grande spray-painted on the front of it and have Rosentia walking around in it with, like, his legs stuck out the bottom. Hey, bubs! <laughs> I've got a game for you! <laughs> Do you want some hardhead? <laughs> no! I'll be kicked out of GDQ if I say that, okay, Tristan? <laughs> Kicked out, ejected. <laughs> Not allowed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, just making sure that I have everything ready to go. Yeah, my goal isn't to be immediately ejected from the marathon, okay? My goal is to give people bad video games, okay? It's my goal to be banned from a GDQ, but, uh... Don't we, tell we Mike go into that, with that. Mike, Mike, you heard nothing, okay? Just so you know, Tristan's lying. Yes, I, I am not being serious here, clearly. I like the slight laugh at the end of that. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, yeah. it's obviously sarcasm, right? <laughs> no. Don't kick me out, man. Yeah, please, please don't. <laughs> we gotta say goodbye to the Chrono Cross music. Because guess what? We have even better music in the form of 
this game. Oh boy. Okay, let me let me go ahead and see Scratch Dragon. Yeah, as far as I can tell, their audio is up and rocking. Yep, that's them. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and boost the audio. Scratch. Because I think uh, even if I doubled the audio, it still wouldn't be loud enough for other people. I, I, I can do that. I'd just like to see if he can turn it up at all on his end. This looks like a thing. It's the Flash. Okay, bam! Everybody's blinded I mean, by his glory. At first glance, it doesn't look that bad, but I'm sure we will find otherwise. Probably. Oh, I Cam mean, Lone Mousewolf thinks it's pretty. For, for uh, an SMS game, it's a good looking game. Yeah, it's yeah. not bad. And it scrolls up and down and left and right at the same time, so that's good. Well, it's better than Kid Cool. <laughs> it's, be it's better than most uh, NES games, frankly. Speaking of which, how were you finding Kid Cool when you were playing it again the other day? Oh my gosh, don't even talk to me about that, okay? Because that was ridiculous. Uh... Yeah, let, let's just say I've completely forgot how to play that game. It, it I don't know, it's one of those games with a difficulty curve that you just don't expect to be that steep. Like, really, it's... It, it's terrible. It's so bad. Okay, I think the music... Everybody in chat, could you let me know if the music sounds good on your end? Okay, because it sounds good to me. I just want to make sure that everybody is hearing it fine. Okay, sounds good. I'm actually excited for this because just from the, the intro, it looks like it could be a good game. I want to see how they beefed it up. <laughs> it looks like it could be a good game. <laughs> I love the optimism I, I, there. It could be. I, I think the best way to describe it is it could have been a good game, but here we are. Oh, for sure. Right. Okay, let me see... What am I even doing? Okay, Jal is ready, Scratch Dragon is ready, Carrie has not read through the entire manual yet, but is ready. <laughs> Uh, it'll be fine. It's the Flash. What more can you have to do but go right as fast as you can? Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. If you're one of the races, go ahead and mute me. Por favor, okay? Poor. Programmed by a single person. That's not a good sign. Oh, apparently Scratch Dragon read everything in all the languages. Okay, good insight there. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, okay, sit at least 2.5 meters or 8 feet away from the television screen. Uh, thank you, Manuel. So apparently this came out two years after the original Sonic the Hedgehog. It has everything in, like, how many different languages? Seven. Seven languages. Vorberitung. Vorberitung. It's good stuff. I don't even know what language that is. Okay, just waiting for Rain to confirm that he's good to go. Rain, Rain. Don't go away. Okay, come here. 
Ooh, there is lore in this game, I just want you to know. That's gonna be fun. I mean, I'm just saying, I, I would hope there would be lore in a, a game after a comic book hero. It's kind of, kind of mandatory for something like this. Well, I mean, I guess. A little bit mandatory. But it's here on Cusa Grande, so maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I, I know very little bit, or very little about... Uh, the Flash and about his mythology and lore and stuff. And where is Rain? Dragon Dark, if you're listening to my voice, go poke Rain, okay? And uh, ask him to check on Discord because we need him. Yet another game not in the Twitch database? I don't know, I imagine the Flash has to be somewhere in the Twitch database. Yeah, totally. Let me see. Uh, Rain's in uh, chat. Oh. He is doing Rain a favor. Okay. that That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> or Rain is doing Dragon Dark a favor. Something Dragon is Dark's going on. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something's in the way. Rain runs. I, the Flash can run as fast as a car and a little bit faster. Okay. The Flash in comic book lore, at least, kind of has unlimited max speed. Though I imagine they couldn't really implement that in a uh, Sega Master System game. It'd be a little hard to control. Denizens of the Flash, I like it. Okay, I am doing the countdown in chat. This is the Flash for Sega Master System. That's right, Sega Master System. Uh, whoever makes the most progress in an hour is the victor. Oh boy, oh boy, I am excited. Aren't we all? I want to see what they got wrong, because everything I've seen so far says this game should be okay. Huh. I, I, so I, I'm reading that it's a it's a meh game, sort of, at, at um, best. Gotcha. It looks like everybody is starting to hop in. Uh, Scratch Dragon, a little, little bit late. Again, we pay attention to how late certain players are, so that we can uh, get them caught up if needed. Looks like Jal just jumping around taking a lot of damage. Okay, everybody getting hurt already. Look at the giant life bar on the left, by the way. <laughs> so good. We have our first death already. Fire insta-kills you? Okay. So yeah, this is the Flash for Sig Master System. Uh, I, I, I'm already... T like able to see that there are some issues with momentum uh, again it's a little bit hard to tell when controls are janky if you're not actually playing it yourself yeah I can see um, the flash seems to move about a screen width a, a millisecond if you're moving at full speed and there seems to be some acceleration and deceleration delay oh yeah I like it Yeah, apparently it, um, this one is European. It's not Brazilian Sega Master System, so don't worry too much. Wait, okay, there are different gauges. There's the gauge at the t left, then there are lightning bolts at the top, and then there's a number at the top, and there's a tornado up there. L let me take a look at this manual, because I'm so not sure I understand this. The number is lives. I know that much. Um, yeah. The lightning bolts seem to be hits. I don't know what the giant gauge to the left is. Maybe it's like superpower. Okay, so one... Oh my gosh. Super speed energy is the bar on the left. Okay. So bar on the left, that's your super speed. Uh, number two, number of lives. 
vitality slash lives remaining. Okay. Three is the whirlwind icon. Whenever this icon appears, the Flash has the ability to become a powerful whirlwind and knock out any enemies he comes into contact with. Press the D button quickly, left and right, until the Flash changes into a whirlwind. Oh, Essentia just did that. Okay, so you I just... I want to become a whirlwind. Yeah. And then four is timer. Wait, what? Timer? Oh. There's... Oh, at the bottom left. Down at the bottom. 60 seconds to get through the stage. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, the lightning bolts to the right of the number at the top. That's how much health you have. One bolt disappears each time the flash is hurt by an enemy or obstacle. So, the big lightning bolts, that's... How many lives you have. Little lightning bolts are the health. Righto. So it looks like even though it says you, you get 60 <laughs> seconds at the start of the stage, the seconds are closer to Tim's. Oh yeah. They take a while. They definitely take a while to count down. Uh, Essentia's game over. <laughs> We're three minutes in. Okay, and we have our first game over. Yeah, from... I, I see why this is on Cusa Grande now. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is gonna be a rough game. That's okay. Uh, so a lot of what's going to happen then uh, for this game at the beginning is figuring out how to conserve health and conserve lives. Uh, because that's going to be super important if game overs send you to the beginning of the game. Uh, figuring out how to make progress without getting hurt. Super crucial. When Ascension Game Over, did you see if there's any continue option, or is it just back to the beginning? There's this is none. an SMS game, so it's back to the beginning, I imagine. Yep. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, definitely health conservation is going to be a thing, which is not easy when you run around like your shoes are made out of soap. Oh, well, you're the Flash. You have to go fast, okay? Oh, Scratch Dragon, that's game over. Jal is asking if they can reset the game, and yes, resets are always allowed. Uh, Reset, yes. Power the game off? No. Why not? Because then you wouldn't be playing anymore. Oh. Oh, okay, good point. <laughs> I was a little bit confused, but now I see what you're saying. I, I mean, that may be what they want to do. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. I'm kind of digging the music in this game, okay? Not gonna lie, I like it. Okay, rain gonna be... So, you can shoot, apparently. Let me see what the buttons do, okay? Since every section of this, like, because it has so many languages, it's about three pages long, so let me go find what the controls say. D button... Press left or right to move in those directions, plus press twice left or twice right, then hold to run at super speed. Okay, so double tap to super speed run. Press up to look up, press down to duck slash look down, press down to jump down to a lower level in conjunction with jump. Okay. And then you can guide your attacks. Interesting. Button one, press to start the game, press for a vibrating attack. Okay. <laughs> No Bavis, no vibes. No, no vibes, okay? Well, this game has vibes. And that's why it's Kuso. There are too many vibes. Okay, uh, while moving, press to spin. If you press the attack button while moving, you spin. Button 2, press to jump, press and hold for higher jumps. Nice! And then pause pauses it. Okay, so those controls are pretty straightforward. Nothing surprising there. Was uh, Jowl's reaching level 2 the first bit of progress we've seen? Uh, let's see, has Jowl reached level 2? Yes. No, I've, I've seen this before. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, this looks vaguely familiar. So, one thing I'm concerned about is uh, Ascension's frame rate seems to be a little rough. I wonder if she's having technical problems that she's not aware of, because that looks like it's gonna impact her ability to play the game pretty severely. Uh, I, I think it's just a stream issue and not a game issue, but we can go ahead and ping her. Uh, yeah, if it's just a stream issue, that's fine. 
Oh, and Ascension is through. Well done, Flash. Good. Looks like she and Scratch Dragon are moving on to the second stage. I believe Rain has made it to the second stage. I'm not completely sure, though. Scratch Dragon was kind of squatting on top of a TV for a minute there, I think, trying to figure out how to break them open. He, he eventually did. Okay, but Ascension's to this weird elevator thing again. Maybe, maybe the elevator is on multiple stages. <laughs> I'm not sure! I'm not sure! Oh, curse levels that look the same! Curse you! Ooh, Essentia managed to do a pretty high jump. So that's good, possibly. Wait, a giant punching glove just came out of the floor and punched Essentia? Okay, <laughs> well that's new. Oh, and that is game over. Game over on her side. Lots of work to go in. Oh, three A's. Good. Good. Good name. So there are multiple items. Uh, find items. Pizza. Each piece of pizza on the item restores one lightning bolt on the Flash's vitality gauge. Of course there's pizza. There's gotta be pizza. It's, it's the 90s. Pizza is the thing. Yeah, the 90s is uh, known for two things. Having time for clacks and pizza. <laughs> yeah. Gem, pick this up for a special point bonus. Ooh. Actually, that may make a difference if you uh, can get extra lives that way. So, I wouldn't necessarily say no to picking those up. Uh, clock gives you extra time to complete the act. Very nice. Restart. If you lose a life after picking up this item, you will restart at the spot where the item was. Okay, so there are checkpoints. Whirlwind, pick up this item for an extra Whirlwind attack. Nice. Magnetic Field Protection Unit. Oh my gosh. Okay. That was technical. Yeah, this gives the Flash invincibility for a short period of time. There's a continue. This gives your credit towards continuing your game. Okay, so there are game over... Uh, continue credits. So, that's good to know. You don't start with any, but you can earn them. Uh, and I think finding those would be pretty important. Uh, Absolutely. Okay, one-ups, there are also one-ups, and then there's also the flash symbol. Grab as many of these as you can for extra points. Ten star food ve vendor. Wow, there is so much. If not out of order, these machines supply you with enough fast food to replenish your super speed energy bar. Oh my gosh, gotta cram down, down those Big Macs. Gotta shove them down my throat so that, you know, can go super fast. To be Sim fair, the fastest I've ever moved is soon after eating Taco Bell, so... <laughs> Okay, uh, anyways, simply stand in front of the uh, vending machines until your super speed energy bar is completely full. And then there are switches. Okay, guess what? Once the switch is activated, there is no need to activate it again, even if you lose a try. So, death, switches are still switched. So, I mean, aside from the vending machine, pretty imply... basic stuff. Yeah. Uh, are you trying to imply uh, the Flash is Taco Bell powered? Uh, yes. Oh boy. His best villains are clones of himself? Wow. Well, that's good to know. Okay. Board uh, of hyphens gets it. So let's see. Lives. You get 10,000 points if you lost no lives before the completion of the act. Uh, let's see, is there anything that gives you an extra life? Game ends when you run out of lives. If you picked up a continue item in the course of the game, you can choose to continue at the beginning of the act, where you left off to continue a game. Use the D button to highlight continue and press button one. Oh no, it looks like this is a game that defaults to, uh, quit, rather than continue. Eh, Just, it'll be fine. Yeah, let's see. Ah, running at super speed can sometimes help you pass the unpassable. So there are going to be times where they actually have to run 
as fast as possible to get through certain barriers. That's good to know. I'm kind of liking the music in this, by the way. Oh yeah, I've already said that. Blam! The music is good, that's my review. Handling oh, this cartridge. One, do not immerse in water. <laughs> you know, a lot of manuals from the time say that, and I, I just feel like someone dunked their cart in water to clean it, and then like sued a Nintendo or Sega or something. So now everyone puts that in their manuals. Yeah, you're probably right. It's still so funny to me, though. Two, do not bend. Don't bend the game, okay? Three, do not subject to any violent impact, okay? Don't tell it... Don't tell the seed or the, the game that it was adopted, you know? It just might have a violent impact. Uh, four, do not expose to direct sunlight. Five, do not damage or disfigure. Six, do not place near any high temperature source. Seven, do not expose to thinner, benzene, etc. Exclamation point. Okay. Good, good. What is this that uh, Rain and Scratch Dragon are both on? I guess this is a boss. Yeah, this is the looks... worst exhaust system I've ever seen on a car. I just oh! want to point that out. Rain taking a death there. Wow, this is not the nicest looking boss in the world, but hey, I guess it works. How are you? Can you duck while running? I don't know. Okay, it looks like you have to kill the different exhaust here. Scratch Dragon may have died. Let, let's see what happens. Ooh, Essentia is actually getting pretty close to the boss as well, it looks like. If I'm not mistaken. Well, never mind, that's death. I could see, like, some kid in high school looking at this and going, I want an exhaust system on my car like that. Daddy, can you get me an exhaust system? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So. Rain beat it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Scratch Dragon. I don't want the advertisement, okay? I want to watch it. Rain is definitely in the lead at this point, then, beating the boss and moving on. Scratch Dragon currently has an advertisement. It Everybody... looks like Rain has moved on to the warehouse where they store all the fire. Nice. There's a warehouse that they store fire in? Well, I mean, where else are you going to put your fire? Yeah, you got to keep it somewhere. <laughs> okay. Maybe he's going live. Okay. There we go. We're back. We're back. Scratch Dragon is rolling around. Perfect. So it looks like Scratch Dragon took a game over while their stream is buffering. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it, it happens. Essentia is starting to make some progress here. This is her last life, though, so I'm a little bit concerned. Scratch Dragon, if you have an ad, I'm totally muting you. Okay, just so you know. You made it! Okay, Scratch Dragon threw 1-1, it looks like. On to 1-2. Scratch Dragon. You're scaring me. Ooh, uh, Rain is having to learn how to deal with ice physics here. The cinch is on the boss. Nice! And unfortunately, the exhaust system was too much for her. No! She got exhausted. <laughs> yeah, there we go. See? Okay, there was a built-in joke that was built-in. So what yeah, the is only the sound? Is... Do, 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 boop. I don't know. I kind of dig it. So the only racer that's gotten past the uh, the car boss so far has been Rain, so they're in first. Okay, Scratch Dragon is checking the stream real quick to see uh, if there is something going on to get it working. If we need, we can give a little extra time. Uh, they're lowering their bit rate. Okay. Yeah, I would I would give them a minute or so extra if they want it. 
Yeah, that's probably fair. Let's see. Okay, I'm checking stuff out for the flash. There, that looks better. Okay. Scratch Dragon is back in the action. That is a very strikingly different, like, doorway on Rain's screen for a moment there. You have this, like, gray and white warehouse motif, and then suddenly bright green and purple door. Well, I mean, it is like the Trickster's area or something like that, right? Yeah. Oh boy, okay, so I'm looking. Uh, I found one <coughs> review of The Flash that gave it 90 out of 100. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> 90 out of 100. So who okay. on the internet was that wrong? Uh, smspower.org, I guess. Well, okay, on, on, on the scale of Sega Master System games, this is probably fairly strong. Yeah, let's see, do they have a summary here? Uh, Fast-paced game with a high challenge setting, fun for a few weeks. Oh boy, fun for a few weeks, everybody, so hop in on this train. Honestly, you know, it, it looks like it's rough to control, but it still seems like it would be enjoyable to play. Whoa, Silver Moon! thank you so much for subbing again, thank you. Uh, How far are you from your uh, new sub emote? Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, just eight more subs and we'll get it. I don't know what, what emote we'll go with, though. We have quite a few in Discord, though. Yes, Dana basically churns out another emote uh, in practically every race, and it's kind of awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's what Dana does best. Oh, jeez. Okay, Scratch Dragon is onto the car again. One extra life that may be enough to get through this boss. We'll find out. So if the exhaust system fires on, like, every level, like five shots at once, which I've seen it do, do you just get hit or can you get over it? You, uh, can, you can jump over it. over it, yeah. You can barely make it. Oh, Scratch Dragon, one more hit. Just one more hit and you're down. They've Take out the car. Life. Okay, and one Jow is left. onto the boss as well. Looks like Jal is handling the jumping pretty fine. Okay, Scratch man. Dragon got the car. Nice, Scratch Dragon. Okay. Yeah, I think Jal's gonna do just fine on this boss. They've got the idea. What is Flash throwing during these boss fights? Flash symbols. Flash symbols. Bam! That makes a whole lot of sense. Hmm. I, I mean, and then he just moves so fast he can pick them up. You just don't see it. Oh yeah. Rain is on his last life right now, so hopefully Rain is able to find either a life or continue, something like that. Anything Here's would hoping. So this level seems to be very non-linear, so hopefully we'll see some racers get past it so we can tell who's winning. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, it seems like this game is fairly unknown. I can't really find too much information about, uh, like, reviews or anything, opinions, besides that one review that was like, 90 out of 100! Oh my gosh, for Sega Master System, this is a gem! Well, let's be honest, we've seen worse, but this definitely seems to control, like, you're on ice skates. I mean, and, and yeah. And is like Jal's uh, screen, you literally are. <laughs> yeah, everybody has made it to the second set of stages until, er, except for Essentia. Essentia's just gotta get this figured out. We're grabbing a little extra time. That could help. Let's see. Is she gonna stand in front of Starfood? Nope. Well, she's got full speed anyway, so... Not a huge deal. I'm not sure what Rain's doing in this party place. Okay, there he goes. He was released from the party. Mm. 
What is this sound? Okay, I, I'm gonna say that... Yeah, the quality of the game has gone down a little bit. Oh no, rain! It's game over! While wow, Flash looks so upset when he dies. I would be upset too if he, I died. He looks like he wow. loses his neck. Wait, were there spikes in that spring? There were spikes inside the spring. And that's a game over for Scratch Dragon in the trolliest way possible. You know, you know, what I love the most is when people hide spikes in my springs, you know. You're supposed to jump on it, but if you do, you die. Thank you. That was rude. I, if I was Scratch Dragon, I'd be throwing my controller. Yeah, that was dumb. <laughs> Ascentia I, I mean, is on to the boss here. She's doing pretty well as well. Getting into the rhythm. Her last life. Look, if you're going to design an evil lair, right, you're not just going to put your spray no! right there for Essentia! everyone to use. That's death. No, one pipe left. You know, I think that's fine, though. Honestly, I'm just thinking it was her last life. Uh, might as well start over, you know? Get a little bit of practice going through the early levels and get through them so that you can, you know, start over and get a good start here. Duck Bomb oh. is saying that's just the start of the troll. Oh, I believe it. I like I don't know much about this game, but if on the second set of stages they do a troll like that, there's more. There's gonna be more. And for the developers to be like, yeah, by this time, you know, it's fine for us to put spikes in a spring, you know, it's it's fine. That's how we're gonna roll here. If I was a super villain, I'd do that. What was that, Corn Dan? I'm, you know, I'm surprised more super villains have done that. You're not just gonna like leave your lair undefended with all of your springs and everything to bear around, you know? You're gonna put spikes in them. Actually, yeah, that's a good point. I would be like, hey, uh, hey, hero, you want to come get me? Well, <laughs> too bad, you're so dead. If Brosinchi had an evil lair, he'd just make uh, the front door only openable if you can beat Athena, and no superhero would touch that. Also, I would be hiding in the trash can right at the front door, so they wouldn't suspect a thing, okay? <laughs> Hell yeah. I mean, yeah, if you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna be... If you're gonna be a supervillain, you build this giant elaborate volcano fortress and then run all of your operations out of, like, an apartment in New York City. Or a trash can. Or a trash can. Well, it's the City. same thing, you know? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, the trash can might be nicer. <laughs> to be fair. Oh boy, Mayor Trickster, that's his name. Maybe you should come yeah. up with a less ominous sounding name. Like Mayor Goodman. My name's Mayor Goodman. Goodman. How does he keep getting reelected? <laughs> well, he tricks you. Yeah, he tricks you. You don't mean to vote for him, you just end up doing it. Scratch Dragon looked like he got stuck or something. Not sure what happened there, but he took two damage against the boss. Okay. Lots that of may not matter if he can finish it. Oh, yeah. Essentia starting to get back into this. Just gotta make it back to the boss. Ooh. Yeah, I think that uh, once she beats this level, she'll be able to uh, move on. And she should be able to beat the boss this time. She's got the understanding. So Scratch Dragon did something really smart here, and I don't know if it was on, on intentionally or not, but they took out the bottom two pipes on the car first. So now it's just a matter of picking when it's safe to jump to attack. Nice. Yeah, it ended up working out just fine. I think that that was a pretty good strategy. I'm, I'm fine with that one. Ooh, Essentia. I think she's going to get to the car boss with three lives. Everybody is doing that right now, which is super important, conserving those lives. Okay. So last Cusa Grande, we had Karnov, and now we're taking the car off. Oh my gosh. No, shut up. <laughs> oh, as to your point on asking, how does he keep getting um, re-elected? Well, it turns out in the ABC show that this was based on, right, 
Um, the trickster was played by Mark Hamill, and who doesn't want Luke Skywalker as mayor? Oh man, oh. I want Mayor Skywalker. That's kind of neat. Good trivia there. Ooh, I like this. I'm looking at the manual. Flash! Necessitamos tu ayuda! Con la ayuda uh, del mago electronico uh, Trachman, el viejo enemigo suyo trickster. Si a eso con el control uh, de Central City. Fiel a su uh, retorcido sentido del humor. Si ha. Uh, Okay, I, I'm not reading the rest of that. I'm going to slaughter it. If they that had it perfect. in Portuguese, I would be able to pronounce it a lot better, but necesitamos tu ayuda! Oh my gosh. Okay, with the assistance of electronics wizard, the Trackman, your old em enemy, the Trickster, has taken control of Central City. Oh no, not the Trackman. True to his warped sense of humor, he's... Uh, made himself mayor and decided to get rid of you for good. Declaring you a common criminal, Mayor Trickster has put a price on your head so that every hoodlum and punk in the city is hunting for you in order to claim the reward for themselves. We'll give you a good burger. Yeah. To make things even more interesting, the Trickster has raided the city treasury and stolen five priceless gems. The blue, red, green, yellow, and white gems of Central City are now hidden inside Trickster blocks, which have been scattered around the city as bait in a madcap but deadly assortment of traps. And if that isn't enough, the Trackman has released an unstoppable FED, Flying Electronic Droid, which has been programmed to search Central City and destroy you. Oh, spooky. So something Jal discovered that is probably going to be important at some point is there are chunks of the floor that don't that look solid and you just fall through them. <laughs> and Jal serious? got the spike. Oh no! No, not the spike! Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so good. Two okay. of our racers have have received the troll spike. Yeah, it, it, everybody, though, is on the same set of stages, which is nice. I'm loving this. You know, you never know how close the race is going to be, but uh, at, the, at this point, I feel like Rain is still in the lead, but the others, it's a little bit in question uh, who is currently in second, third, and fourth. We'll go ahead and so see how they do. So Jaws about to get back to the troll spike and now knows better. Let's see what they do. No troll spike. Okay, good. <laughs> Essentia fell down. Oh, that that's what this game is about. Ooh, you might be able to go super fast and run through those blocks. So, by merit of having gotten past the troll spike, I think Jal may actually be in first, but I'm not 100% certain. Certain. Neither am I. I. I think Rain might be in first here. Just based also off of... Oh, Ooh, look, another troll spike. <laughs> another troll spike for Rain. Super fun. Everybody loves those. Oh, Fortunately, and there's a they were in iframes when they revealed it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, Rain is definitely in first. This is completely new territory. <laughs> oh, okay. no! No, Rain, no! Those jokes are so rude. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, Scratch Dragon, Essentia, and Jal need to figure out this level. Jal made it through! Very nice. I believe Jal is in second. Uh, Ascension Scratch Dragon have some work to do. Uh, luckily, Scratch Dragon has a lot of lives at this point. Yep, and we're only halfway in. And there so. we go, Scratch Dragon is through the stage as well. Essentia just trailing a little bit behind, but again, she's been making some pretty good work of this stage. Uh, hopefully, he, she's able to start making some progress in just a little bit. Yep, we've got half the match to go, so anything can happen. These spring jumps on Rain's screen are so rude. Oh. Come on, Rain. Rain! <laughs> like, 
this is ridiculous. Nope. This is so dumb. Okay, Rain, that's game over. He got to the spring jumps. <laughs> I can't really get a feel for what kind of air control you have in this game. It seems like it's not very good. Existent control. <laughs> Rain, no! Rain! That's... Or, Scratch. No, Scratch! You're dead. Sorry. I was watching Scratch for a second. A bit confused. Ascentia going for the spree and gets a spike! She fell for the trap as well, but she had extra life, so not dead. So yeah, we're, lear we're learning all about this trickster here. And what a jerk he is. Okay. I, I think everybody is starting to get used to some of the controls here. Again, I, I would say that this controls pretty terribly, but at the same time is kind of interesting and might be enjoyable to play. Oh, the there was a window. switch! Essentia, I believe, missed the switch. She's gonna have to... Oh, no. I don't know if she noticed, though. The window for these uh, spring jumps between the spikes has to be so narrow because everyone that's gotten here has had problems with it. Oh yeah, for sure. Jal, starting the game over again. Okay, Essentia saw the switch again, but didn't get it, I think. Oh jeez, watch out. Alien wants blood. Maybe she had already gotten the switch, though. I'm, You know, the, the manual does say you only have to get it once. Oh, and that is game over. Gonna be starting over. That's okay. Uh, every time that you play the game, as long as you make a little bit more progress, or at least gain a little bit more understanding, you're going to be able to uh, hopefully make more progress the next time. So, uh, yeah, everybody is starting over, except for Scratch Dragon. Scratch Dragon gonna be... Joe going over to uh, the beautiful spring jumps in just a little bit Again, this is the wall so far the wall of the match So do keep in mind I don't believe one or maybe even two of our racers have seen the troll spike So let's not mention that in chat quite yet I'm trying to think I, I know Essentia has I know that I think everyone has seen some of the troll spikes at some point, you know, they... they... Maybe you're right. Did, did Ascension see? Yeah, Ascension Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, so they, they've all seen it. It's all good. All right, my mistake. Eh, it's all good. Uh, okay, Scratch Dragon, I believe, is actually in the lead. He got a continue thing, it looked like. That's going to be huge. Okay. That very big, yeah. That's probably going to see a rather firm lead on their side if it is indeed a continue, and not a moment too soon if you see their life. Yeah, one hit, and that's game over, so let's see what happens here. Oh! There we go, there's the spike. Maybe? Game over? Is it gonna... Yes, continue! Scratch Dragon did indeed get the continue credit. And they successfully used it. Nice. Okay. Definitely huge. Yep. Fresh set of lives. Didn't really lose a ton of progress. Let's see if they can get past this warehouse thing with uh, three lives. I guess it's supposed to be in like a rundown amusement park. I'm not amused at this place. What what crappy amusement park is this? Hey everybody, you wanna come to my death lair? It'll amuse somebody. Oh jeez! Well, no one said the amusement park had to be for your amusement. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, good. Scratch Dragon got some pizza and got health back. That's fantastic. Uh, Jal and Rain are both uh, to the second set of levels. Uh, Essentia getting back to the boss fairly soon, it looks like. She's doing a pretty good job of conserving health at this point. Yeah, taking a little bit of damage, but not a huge deal. Just need to save your lives and save your health uh, as much as possible for the later stages. She got full health now, so that that's gonna be fine. 
I did not get the manual, Cadis. This was all very, uh, very organically done here. Oh, I've got the manual here. Cadis says that, uh, the bump for episode two was interesting. Let me take a look. I will go read through it. So it says... Episode 2, Roller Coaster Runner. You'll find a lot more on this episode than thrill rides. Duck down and slide on the ice to get through the tight spots. And dodge flying toys and dangerous bombs. Watch out, some of those springs are booby-trapped. Oh, so it, it does give a warning. Wow. Episode 3, Warehouse Antics, which we might see in a little bit. Nothing the trickster owns is ordinary, and this warehouse is no exception. Bomb-juggling clowns wander through this nightmare of sharp, revolving teeth and unpredictable water obstacles. Here, here's the deal, okay? I'm thinking if you're a juggler, the last thing you're going to want to do is juggle bombs. Because they explode, okay? You throw bombs, you juggle like knives, okay? That's fine. Troll spikes for, uh... Holy crap! Dragon. So many troll They're spikes! They're all troll spikes! <laughs> but he got past it. And it's another car! What? Are you serious? <laughs> it's another car, now with a clown head sticking out. Now with out. the head. Oh, and it with shoots... missiles. Spooky. So, the bosses are not very inspired. I don't know, I'm inspired. <laughs> inspired to what? <laughs> <laughs> this is a game. People spent money on this to develop it, and they're like, you know, you know what would be great if we had second boss, same as the first boss, okay? Except there's a little head on it; it shoots rockets out. That that'll make it different. No! Scratch Dragon, that was a double KO. The boss was dead, but so was Scratch Dragon. I goes to the game, unfortunately. Yep. So Duck Bomb says that every uh, every boss is the same. They just add another component to the uh, attack pattern. Good. That's a little... Yeah, I don't think they're going to see too much after this boss. That's my guess. I, I think if... If you've seen the two bosses by, you know, now, which only Scratch Dragon has, but man, you would get the idea that that's what it's like. Yeah. I think it's okay. That doesn't tell them how to fight the bosses. Yeah, true. Okay, uh, episode four, Trouble at Megacore. The Trickster and the Trackman have been spotted in the Megacore lab complex. You follow them in, but getting out won't be easy. This episode is filled with the Trackman's most devious devices. Uh-oh. So, um, Rain oh. is now on the second boss. Scratch Dragon nice. has beaten it and progresses to what is, I guess, the warehouse. The actual warehouse. I was going to say this looked like Castlevania. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's where they store the Castlevania. Oh jeez, the trickster owns Castlevania. Oh my gosh, tell Konami because they're gonna be. I don't know if they'll be upset. They'll be like, ah, whatever. Dra oh, Rain is through. Uh, very very nice. Now it's up to Essentia and Jal to get through uh, and beat the boss. Determine who is in third and fourth there. I believe Jal is still a little bit ahead of Essentia. So episode three seems to take the troll spike gambit and, and up the ante a little bit. Now instead of springs revealing spikes, it looks like there's certain floors that when you step on them will flip over and reveal spikes. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, it, it's like a falling bridge, except not. Yeah. Thank you, totally fa Oh, Scratch In Dragon! The water. Okay, so the Flash cannot swim. The Flash is too fast to swim. Oh my gosh, Zelesium, thank you for the sub. I really appreciate it. Oh. Is MC Kids too high quality for Cusa Grande? I would say yes. I like MC Kids. Ooh, Essentia is through 1-1, moving on, or 2-1, onto 2-2. Uh, looks like Jal 
got a game over, going to be starting again. It still seems like it's uh, Rain in first, Scratch Dragon in sec- er, no, Scratch Dragon in first, Rain in second. Rain uh, just got the heck punched out of them. Yeah, it happens. Happens to the best of us. Uh, Jal in third, and Essentia currently in fourth. Dragon Dark is saying, Rain found a major shortcut in 3-1. Ooh. Okay, I, I missed that, but thank you, Dragon Dark, for that information. So, Rain is on 3-2 at this point. Wow. Yeah, I believe Rain was in the middle of jumping through a ceiling when I peeked at them a little bit ago. I mean, as we did discover in... Episode 2, it is possible to go through certain ceilings and floors. Oh, yeah. Also, Rain just revealed a very large bed of spikes and just now cannot go that way. Yeah, and that looks like a pool of yellow. acid. I'd say it's acid. Uh, acid jello, probably. Oh, boy. Wait. How would acid tell it jello taste? I'm wondering. Um, gelatinous cube. Would you taste it for very long? No. Okay. Uh, I've I've been in D and D sessions where someone's eaten a gelatinous cube. Uh, it, it does not end well. Okay, good to know. Ah, <laughs> uh, Dragon Dark is saying that the shortcut is the upper left walk right at the start of three one. Good to know. Essentia trying to get through this stage. Ooh, watch out! There, explodey bombs. She's going to be getting through the bouncy section of Doom in just oh, no. a little bit. Here we go, bouncy section for Essentia. So, there, there's a water pit in 3-2. Rain just took a game over to it where it's clear you have to do some kind of super speed thing to run across the water, and Rain just tried to run in and died. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, Essentia is at the dumb spring section. Oh, and that's death. One more life. But again, there's a continue token right after the spring section if she is able to find it. Uh, she doesn't know this, but that would be that that could possibly help her move into third place if she does. Jal is currently moving on to the first boss. He's trying to get back in this. Uh, which, luckily, it looks like the earlier levels go pretty quickly. So, Rain did indeed take a game over, but they had to continue, and not only that, they picked up an extra life immediately upon restarting the act. So, nice. they're in a pretty decent position right now. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Essentia trying to get through the springs. There we go. One hit left. Oh my gosh. There's pizza in that thingy. Let's see if Essentia is able to get the continue. That will be huge if she can. Rain is on boss number three, and surprise, surprise, it's exactly the same as boss number two. Uh oh. Okay, two hits left for Essentia. I don't think she's gonna find the continue, unfortunately. Maybe. I think it was to the right. We'll find out. Let's see. It looks like practically everyone has has grasped the strategy of take out the bottom two pipes first on these. Oh, and Rain dies. <gasps> and that is game over for Essentia. No! No! Oh, so Died close. To a clown. That's okay, How 15 minutes left. Rain is having a hard time on boss number three. He oh, he shoots so fast. really fast. Yeah, this boss is kind of a butt. Not only that, but I might consider, like, shooting it a little bit faster so that he doesn't move close to you. But it looks like if he moves close enough, he doesn't shoot. Maybe it was just me. Yeah, okay, I, Rain I took out the that. head. Stop firing for a moment. It looks like anywhere in the cycle the clown wants to fire a missile, but you've blown the clown's face off. It just sits there and does nothing. Nice. I'm okay with that. You're okay with blowing clowns' faces off? Oh yeah, clowns deserve it. So, if anybody here is a clown, I'm sorry. There's something else. There we go. Rain's got it. I, I guess you have to destroy the thing way up in front to in boss number three. So Rain moves on to Act Four. Nice. Go Rain. Go go go. Okay, Scratch Dragon is currently fighting another 
car. It looks like this is the car for this first set of stages. Jal trying to beat this second world, basically, or second act, whatever you want to call it. Oh, um, you, the palette on Act 4. Oh, it's so delicious looking. It's like, we, we decided to make the walls out of our acidic jello. That, that's pretty cool. Ooh, it's jello infused. Well, there's always room for jello, even in your constructions, I guess. Oh, yeah. Now, mind you, I, I think the national or the the state dessert of Utah should be green jello. So, like that that's my pride. My pride and joy, okay? I have to have to be dedicated to uh, what my state likes. Scratch dragon getting a shield. Essentia just wading through some of these smashers. Okay. I'll say stage one at least has good music. I don't know about any of the stages, or any of the other stages, but the one that Scratch Dragon is on right now, no siree, okay? I'll, I'll pass. Take a hard pass anytime. Yeah, this is not an amusement park I'd want to visit. The task is apparently 8 minutes and 45 seconds. <laughs> I, I could see that, actually. I mean, it is the Flash. Yeah, this game is super short if there's only, like, four worlds. There we go. Essentia, moving on to the boss. Same one that... No, Jal is on the boss of stage two. So, Jal definitely has a pretty strong second place at this point. If And with four lives, I think he's going to beat this boss. Like, shouldn't be too much work. Did Scratch Dragon beat this guy? Oh, yeah, 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 he did. He yeah. moved on to 3-1, but wasn't able to get through that. Er, yeah, they did. Uh, Essentia almost done with boss. Okay, and there we go, moving back on to stage two. Now, remember, the goal of this tournament is to make as much progress as you can in an hour. Uh, now... Yeah, if you do get game over, we still count the progress that you made up until the game over. So even if you do lose, you know, you want to do that push to make as much progress as possible, even if you're going to game over. So oh, Scratch Dragon threaded the needle, did the, the uh, spring and spike jumps perfectly, and then landed on a clown and died. Oh, I love it. <laughs> That's I don't so know good. how the clown feels about it. Clown's okay with it. Clown doesn't like people. What can you say? Essentia going through this stage again. Not really too complicated or too long once you figure it out. Doing these jumps and sliding it looks like it's one of the more difficult parts of the stage. I'm worried Scratch Dragon is going to see a uh, game over on the spike jumps. He's, uh, he's lost a couple of lives to it uh, already. Oh, jeez. I, I think he's starting to get a little bit nervous about this. Uh, Time is taken down. Yeah, and nerves do kick in. Especially if you're watching a timer. Yeah, we're at about nine minutes left at this point, so we're, we're going to be seeing... I'm pretty sure if rain game's over, which is no! probably going to be pretty soon, honestly, uh, with zero lives left, that's probably going to be the high water mark we're going to see for the match that everyone else is going to have to match. I don't know if anybody is... Oh, geez, sorry. I don't know if anybody's going to be able to pass where Rain has gotten to. Essentia taking a death right there. Uh, going to be... Yeah, everybody is just trying to make a solid push at this point. Jal is on 3-1. Oh, I was gonna say I love this music, but that's a lie. It it sounds like seventy five percent of Codemasters music. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. Oh my gosh! Speaking of that, 
Was this made by Cone Masters? No, this was made by Probe or whatever the heck. Yeah, I don't believe that. Uh... <laughs> Sega... Blah, Scratch blah, Dragon blah. just uh, took a game over, unfortunately. No, Switch Dragon! Why would you do this to me? Ooh, Essentia also got a game over, it looks like. Rain no. died, but managed to pick up a 1-up, yeah. so now it's Rain's last life. Alright. Rain... Let's see, I'm scrolling down to the bottom. Where... <laughs> Sega... I don't know, it's trying to not tell me who made this game in the manual. Thank you, manual. Like, it's a Sega game. Isn't that good well, enough? It's very Sega. Yeah, I think everybody uh, is pretty much on their last shot at this point. We've got under eight minutes. Okay. Yeah, everyone everyone has a full complement of lives except Rain and Joel. So, you know, two people have a full complement of lives. Uh, so this is probably going to be the last attempt for them. It's probably going to be the last attempt for Rain, just based on how far they've gotten. Uh, okay. Okay, so this was made by Probe Entertainment. They're a British video game developer in Croydon, England, founded by Fergus McGuffin. Or Govern. That's Fergus what I said, McGovern. and you said you didn't believe me. Well, okay, I believe you now. Uh, <laughs> so they were acquired by Acclaim. Uh, yeah, there are a couple of NES games that have, like, Acclaim and Probe in their <gasps> intros. It's like a combo thing, and then Acclaim just acquired them. They made Beauty and the Beast for NES! Oh, I love them. Okay. And they made Bram Stoker's Dracula for the NES. I can see it. And they made Jelly Boy! They did Jelly Boy! So, they are Cuso Grande veterans as far as developers go. And they made a Judge Dread game! Oh my gosh, yeah, they, they are... Okay. I now love Probe Entertainment. They did the game- the Page Master for Game Boy? What?! Ew. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm loving this. Back to the Future so 3 for Amiga. So Rain did indeed take the game over. Uh, it looks like the middle of Act 4 is going to be the first place mark for our other racers to uh, try to pass. They made several ports of Savage. Jal has the potential to actually tie that up. Uh, they are in Act 3, but they only have one life left. I just got really excited about this developer. Yeah, come on Jal! Okay, Jal got the switch. One up. Nice. Yeah, definitely good to have Scratch Dragon fighting the first boss. Ascension needs to get to this boss and then make progress. This is the last push here. Come on. Yep, we are at the five minute mark, give or take. They made Amiga Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, that cannot be good. <laughs> I, I appreciate the Amiga. I appreciate TMNT. Putting the two together is not something I would rank high in, like, the potential uh, spectrum. Wow, I'm just looking at them. I kind of love them. Okay. Jaw is on Boss 3. They made now, I don't think oh, Jaw yeah. has seen Boss 3, so there may be deaths here. Rain took two deaths to this boss. If Jal takes two deaths and there's one, that's a game over. Oh, come on, Jal. This boss is a little stressful. Yeah, I, I don't think Scratch Dragon has made it to this boss, am I right? I do not believe so. Okay, essentially, I believe Jal has a firm hold on second at this point. Yeah, Scratch Dragon currently has a hold on third. Essentia, I think, is the only person who can really change things up if she does well here. Uh, and I she's... think Joel has this. Yeah, Joel, he's definitely going to kill this boss. The boss is down, for sure. All right, so Joel has, is on their last life. I don't believe they have a continue, and they have three minutes to make progress in stage four. 
So this company later became Acclaim Studios London and Acclaim Cheltenham. Uh, they made Crazy Taxi. Nice. Yeah. Now, are we going to see another last minute lead change? We may. I, I, I don't really know. Close. You mean between whom? Uh, between Joel and Rain. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's possible. Oh, no, Joel's taking a lot of unnecessary damage from these spike floors. Two hits yeah. left. One hit left. That's no, cool. Joel, do you have a continue? Does Joel have a continue? Nope. That's no. that's it for Joel. Okay, it looks like Rain pretty much does take the victory. Essentia has a small chance to make some progress. I, I don't think she'll be able to move into third, but we'll we'll go ahead and see what she can do over the next couple minutes. That's a shame. There was potential there for a last minute upset, but going into level four blind with all of the hidden spike floors was just not a good deal. For yeah, there are a lot of spikes all over the place. Yeah, that level is mean. Just rain just trying to find their way through the level just got whittled down and, and killed uh, multiple times by just spikes showing up in the floor. Okay, come on. Okay, Essentia going to be doing the spike jumps here in this stage. Again, the favorite spike jumps. She's got three lives, which is pretty significant, but still, that timer is the biggest enemy at this point. Absolutely. There are about a, there's about a minute and a half left. Yep. There's just no time. Okay. Essentia. Oh, that is death on the spike jumps. I, I don't think there's any hope at this point. Yeah. Yeah, I think our placements are pretty solidly set, but it has been an amazing match. Rain got so far. Yeah. Yeah. It, it just blows my mind. Like, everybody did pretty well on this game. This game definitely is slippery, uh, but I, I this is a game I want to go play. Well, I'm sure someone will make you for your uh, uh, subscriber event, which is win, by the way. Uh, let's see, we had one of the matches. Uh, I, I need to decide on the next time that I play one of those. Uh, I'm... Trisden, the problem is having three jobs. <laughs> yes, that, that yeah. is indeed a problem. I'm trying to fix that. I'm trying so... Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, now 30 seconds. We we've, we've got just 10 seconds left and I will try to get right on the money. Come on, money, money. So, I'm not sure who won or who who came ah. out ahead between um two of our racers. I, I believe it was um Rain then Jaw then Scratch and Essentia. Uh Yeah, I believe you're correct. Rain, then Jal, then Scratch, then Essentia. That is the order that I see right now. That is time, though. We are done with this match. Wow! This was a blast to watch. Yeah, uh, having two of our racers get more than halfway through the game in an hour blind with these controls and, and like, the troll spikes and all that stuff, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, this was definitely impressive. Uh, it seems like World 3 is not as hard as World 2 or 4, though. Uh, so, yeah, it, for the people who made it to World 3, they had a little bit of an easier time. Uh, but still, very difficult game. And they did a great job. So, congratulations for the victory, Rain. Good job, Jal, taking second, Scratch, Dragon, third, Essentia, fourth. Essentia, I want you to win one of these! Ah! We need, we need to give you an RPG, and then you can just, like, slaughter everybody else. <laughs> give them, give, give uh, Ascension's group, like, um, uh, what's it called? Interlude or something? Final Fantasy IV Interlude? Well, I don't know. She speedruns that. <laughs> well, you said you wanted her to win. Well, okay, I mean, yeah, that would do the trick, but you know what I mean. Oh. Wanted, you want her to win and it not be because of favoritism? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has to be fair. 
Uh. Absolutely. <laughs> well, uh, that's. I do good. have some really bad RPGs I can recommend. Well, no, I'm. I'm gonna let Pesmerga choose. Pesmerga is the game master. Okay. Uh, thank you, everybody who has 